this in this video i want to show how to automatically repeat command in linux that means that instead of if you have a command you type it to the um, command prompt and it carries out um, a, an output for you so instead of typing it again and again and again you can there is a way to to make the command to repeat itself automatically so that you can uh, focus on some other things. So you can just time it and timing it makes the command to run automatically. So that is what I'm going to show you now. There are three ways of doing that. So let's look at the first one. Now, the main command that you need is going to be the watch command, the watch command. That is what we are going to be looking at. So the first one, for example, we have we have this command. Let's look at the uptime command. So let me just carry out this task. So this is the uptime command. The uptime command tells you for how long your system has been working without any interruption. So in this case, it says that it has been up for 85 days. So, and it has five users. So this, this is something that is um, um, identified through the uptime command. So let me type it again. So I want to do that again. For example, I have this. So it does the same thing. So I have this. It does the same thing. So if you have it, so for some other processes, Probably you want this command to be repeating itself after every 20 minutes or every five minutes and things like that. Instead of typing it manually again and again and again, you can just make use of the watch command. So that is what I'm going to be doing now. So the, with the watch command, with the end switch. So I am saying that it is going to be five. That means every five seconds the command should repeat itself. Then I will now type the uptime. So with this, when I press enter, so you discover that this is what we have. This is the first um, output. So just what you discover that after five seconds, it will load again. You can see that it is loading again now. It is now 29 seconds, 29. You see that this is going to change now, 34. So that is how to make a command to continue to um, repeat itself automatically. So that is another way of doing that. So let's look at another way through which you can make a command to repeat itself. Now, there is another way through which you can make a command to repeat itself automatically. For example, let's say in this particular directory, I want to identify only the text files I have. So which is going to be, for example, in this, with the list command. For example, I want to have a list of the file. And in this case, you discover that I am having um, two different commands. So I'm going to be making use of the pipe with the grep command. So in this case, we have this, txt. So with this, you discover that I am able to identify only the .txt files in this particular directory. So to run this command, I can also repeat this particular command, which is the same thing I'm having here. So this is the same thing I am having here. So now, instead of retyping this, I can also set it to do itself, uh, to repeat itself automatically. It is also going to be with the watch command. I am bringing this out if you have special characters. So that is why I am bringing this particular one out in this particular case. So to do that, I am going to be using a single quote. So which is going to be with the same watch command and the end switch to repeat every five seconds. So because this particular command has a special character, which is the double quote, I'm going to be making use of the single quote in this particular case. Then with the pipe, which is grab. So we have this. With the TXT, then closing it 
with another single code. So if I press enter, you discover that it is going to repeat itself after every five, five seconds. This is nine. So you discover that it is now 14. So this is another way that you can make a command to repeat itself automatically when if the command has special characters. So we are going to look at the last one so that you can now pick the one that you like. So the last one, which is going to be a loop, that is what we are going to be doing now. So in that particular one, for example, this part, this command, the list, I want, I want it to repeat itself automatically. So this is what I have here. That means I just want to look at the content of this particular directory. So to repeat itself, let's automatically, let's also make use of five seconds. So in this, I'm going to be using a loop as a script. So which is going to be while sleep. Then in this case, I'm having, let's say four seconds. Then with the semicolon. So after doing that, I am saying do this, which is going to be with the list with the L switch. Done. So with this particular command, the, com the, 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 this part, the command I am really interested in, which is the list and the L switch will be repeating itself after every four seconds. So the, the one disadvantage of this particular one is that the first one, the first command that is run goes to sleep as well. Instead of starting from the second one, it is going to be starting from the first command. So you can see that it is also moving. So that is how to really create, the, the, to make a command to repeat itself automatically. So with this part, with these three different ways, you can choose the one you need. And you can also modify the timing based on your needs. Probably you want to have every 10 seconds or every um, 60 minutes and things like that.